If you're asked to write three equivalent fractions for five tenths, here's how you can do that. What we're trying to do is find another fraction that's equal. It's equivalent to five over 10. It's just that we have a different numerator and denominator. They'll both equal the same decimal value, just that the numerator and denominator will be different. To do that for this one, why don't we first simplify it? Because five divided by five, that's just one and 10 divided by five is two. So one half, that's an equivalent fraction for five tenths. And if you divide five by 10 or one by two, you get 0 0.5. It's the same thing because they're equivalent. Let's try another one. Instead of dividing like we did up here, we could multiply and we can multiply five over 10 by one. That would still give us five over 10. Let's multiply it by two over two. 2 divided by 2, that's just 1. So again, we're not changing the value, just the way it's represented. 2 times 5, that's 10. 2 times 10 is 20. And 10 20th, that's another equivalent fraction for 5 tenths, or 1 half. And if you divide 10 by 20, 0 0.5, same value. Last one. So 7 over 7, that's 1 again. So we're just multiplying by 1. We get 35 70th, another equivalent fraction for 5 tenths. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.